I've been counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. I've been looking for a way, looking for a way from this town. And you're too far away, you're too far away to help me now. So I'm counting down the days, counting down the days to get out. Cause I need to learn to forget everything that drags me down. Hello everyone and welcome to Armory Digital Super Speedway for the penultimate race of season three, the Netflix and Chill 48 here from the high banks of Armory in Seattle, Washington. I'm Jordan here along with Tappen and my God, this racetrack put on a show yesterday. You think we see the same today? Absolutely. Um, yesterday you saw a lot of guys are fighting for that championship, have issues, and I think you're going to see the same thing today along with the normal Super Speedway side-by-side -side new leaders three wide four wide maybe i think you'll see a bit of everything Five today mm -hmm. absolutely let's go ahead and take a look at some pre-race storylines captain in the number 26 hoonigan dodge won this race in thrilling fashion last year on a last lap pass for the win he comes to this race the only rjr car that has failed to win a race so far in season three but there's no better place no better time and no better scheme to go and get that first win of the season here tonight Julia in the number 75 Racing Miku Dodge scored her first points paying victory last weekend in Bristol. She comes into this race riding a wave of momentum, having just cracked into the top 10 in points for the second time this season. We'll see if she can continue her march to the front here tonight on the high banks. Super Soggy in the number 29 Ford comes into this race having led almost the entire season in points. He has 99 points over the 72 of Ant, and he's fighting for his life after an inconsistent recent run of races to stay in front of that number 72 here tonight. One race to go after the checkered flag falls in Armory. We'll see if Super Soggy can keep his nose out in front. And with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get him qualified here for the Netflix and Chill 48 from Armory. Drivers, start your engines. Engines have fired here in Armory Digital Super Speedway, and now to Captain for your starting lineup. All right, on poles, number seven of Fish, starting seconds, number 47 of 21 Master. Third is number 26 of Landon Rock. Fourth is number 50 of Taco. Fifth is Jerry Chin. Sixth is Lattimore. Seventh is Julia, last week's winner. Eighth is Adam Garcia. Ninth is Creasum. Tenth is Sean. Eleventh is Ant. Twelfth is Dale. Thirteenth is David Garcia. Fourteenth is Adam Irish. Fifteenth is Jordan Teagues. Sixteenth is Nate Dawson. Seventeenth is Vuko. Eighteenth is Mr. Alondo. Nineteenth is Ski. Twentieth is Mike Council. Twenty-first is Balto. Twenty-second is Garth. Twenty-third is Ricochet. Twenty-first. 24th is Mellow, 25th is Dega, 26th is NCD, 27th is Raz, 28th is Soggy, 29th is Conrail, 30th is Trumpet, and at the back is 31st, number 98 of Kerry Rogers. All right, pace car rolls the field down the back straightaway. Two Mercedes on the front row. Very nice for Fish going out and scoring the win. Recently announced he will be retiring at the end of season three, so we certainly wish Fish the best of luck. Still looking for his first career victory. No better spot than to start first here today trying to get it. It would be really cool for him to get a win here as he's exiting the series at the end of the season. So it would be cool for all that he's done for the league to uh, get a win. Also definitely paying attention to the car that starts right behind Fish. That 26 of Captain won this race this year, running special colors in honor of Ken Block, who lost his life in a snowmobile accident earlier this month. And uh, a definitely a very, very cool way to remember Ken here in the Pog Series tonight. And we'll see if he can go back to back here in Armory. Pacecar heads for Pit Road, field in the hands of Fish in that number seven Mercedes. And his pseudo teammate, 47 Master, up there on his outside. 
Captain and Taco Makeup Row 2, Jerry Chen and Chris Lattimore Row 3, Julia and Adam Garcia 4, Kreezum Sean Row 5. That's your top 10. Green flag is in the air. We are racing in Armory. Gosh, you really forget how far away that start finish line is. This restart zone is enormous. It's quite a bit. 47 Master ekes a nose out in front, still side by side. Not nearly as much of a crazy start as we saw in the Truck Series race yesterday, where they were four and five wide on lap one or two, it seemed. Everybody just side by side so far. Nobody looking anywhere yet. Yeah, everybody's side by side, still in line, getting up to speed. But once they get up to speed, I imagine it's going to be a different story. Captain lays the bumper to the back of that seven, gets him a nice little push out in front. Now the inside line making an attack. Crees him down to the inside of Julia. That's a move for about 10th spot. Stepping out of line out there. He's got Ant following him, and Ant is going to be a hungry, hungry driver today. 99 points back of the 29 of Super Soggy, who started deep in the field. He needs, he needs to make it happen today. He's got one more chance. Yep, he's now got the field starting to fan out. Ski way to the bottom. Way to the bottom, all the way to that line. And here comes the 26 diving down to the inside, looking for the lead. Fish leads lap number one, and here comes Catton. Jerry Chen looks to the middle, not going to go with the dodge. Thinks better of it now as the 26 storms through to the race lead as they head off the end of the, uh, the first corner here at Armory Digital. David Garcia with a good run on the bottom. The 100 Thieves cars all qualified within a few rows of each other. All four of them were kind of packed up tight there. And now two of them have linked up on the bottom, but they're all trailing that 26. Man, you see him get the big runs that they do here at Armory. Jordan, the inside of his teammate. RJR car is not working together yet. Jordan's like, hey, you got your win last week. As Jerry Chen now looks to the inside. Side by side off turn four, coming back around to the start finish line. We saw the top line able to hold momentum back to the start finish line of the truck series race yesterday. What does today do? Captain and Chen side by side. Give that lap to Captain in that 26. Very, very cool for that scheme to get out in front here early in Armory. But not a lot of help out there behind him. The GSL Mercedes, two of them in there behind him. As now the 100 Thieves Fords have pushed through to the front here at the top of the field. Taco tags the wall, falls back five wide. They sort it out. Way to the outside, Taco went. He's dropping back. He's got Sean and Vuko trapped in there behind him. As now Raz is on the inside with Balto trying to make a charge from the back. Back up to the front, the 100 Thieves cars ditch one another. David with a good jump to the bottom. He had a huge run. David Garcia comes into this race seventh in points, 156 back. He's got some work to do, but it's not impossible. Look at Conrail down Conrail there. Conrail all the way to the bottom. Apron. Wouldn't expect much else from that 44. Nobody working with him, though. As back to the line, David Garcia leads that lap. Fish running in second, and Ant has worked his way up to third. Jordan, Jordan with a great run. Middle, now pushes his way back to the inside of Ski. He's trying to bring Lattimore with him, but he's a little hesitant to step out of line. Moves up, fills that spot, put Jordan up into fifth place. Down the back stretch again. Lap number four of 48 here. A long ways to go in this one, and they're racing pretty respectfully so far. We saw him wreck very early on yesterday in the truck series race, and this is a different story. Yeah, the truck race got more, uh, real cautious. wild real early. Big move here. Ant looking for the lead. Those five bonus points for leading a lap would do him wonders as he's just about clear of fish as they come off turn four. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's going to get it back him. here at the line, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Covers the bottom. Ant, five bonus points. He has led a lap here in Armory. But Jordan's trying to get rid of him almost immediately in that Domino's dodge with the push from skis, bringing Lattimore with him. Prism can't get out of the middle. Yeah, he's really just been stuck there trying to get past anybody he can, but just not been able to get free. In the back of the frame, you see him poking his nose up side by side with Julia there, that black and yellow Ford. Soggy started in the back. He's trying to slowly and methodically work his way through this field and get to the front. Oh, council to the bottom. Big move there. A ski makes a bigger move. He puts Jordan to the five side wide in the back. The lead. Oh, yeah, they are. That's tight. Garth and Julia banging doors down the front straightaway. Oh, and they're trying Steve to go even lower. To the lead. NCD pushing hard. NCD, NCD won the truck race here at Armory Digital last year. He's trying to go undefeated at this racetrack, but he's pretty deep in the field so far. Julia and Taco not done yet. Still banging Still doors. Still five wide. Still five wide. <laughs> These two locked together. Ooh, Chen gets loose out of the middle. I thought they were looking six wide for a moment. Alondo's trying to find room to race. As back at the front, Ricochet has moved through to the race. Ricochet to the lead. 
And Catton back to the bottom as well, as Trumpet's gonna abandon his dodge teammate immediately. Or four why? wide for third. Remember what I said about them racing respectfully? Yeah, I take yeah not back. anymore. <laughs> buck wild right now. Look at the so run Trumpet, Trumpet had on the bottom. Conrail, and Conrail's gonna abandon him of course. immediately. They're gonna be three wide for the lead at the line this time. Who's gonna get it? 12, 68, or 44? I think Ricochet might get it. No, it's Trumpet. 12, wow. Trumpet started really deep in this field. Up on lap seven, he has moved through to lead this race. And they're still packed up super tight behind him. Armory has some interesting height changes in the middle of the corner, so it's very easy for cars to get stepped out on drivers and lose the rear ends or just lose where you are in your steering and move up the racetrack, cause an accident. But so far, they are clean and green through seven laps so far here tonight. Yesterday, the number the 44. Better of it. Yesterday, the number 44 of Caden Bishop started at the back and within a couple laps was at the front. Today, Conrail started 29th and led lap, or not led, but was at the front here on lap seven. So you can make your way to the front, certainly at these races. So don't, don't need to get discouraged if you move to the back. Speaking of that, Kerry Rogers in the 98 started shotgun on the field, leads lap number seven. Council in line with him, Fish the pole sitter. That's how quickly things change here. Alondo and Captain are real close in the middle of the corner right there. Look out. Oh, Nate with a sharp move to the bottom to block Sean. Four wide for third. They're four wide all over the place here. 31 cars still tucked up in this lead draft. Side by side, four wide, three rows deep. Soggy's still looking for room to get to the front. NCD was just in the back of the field. We saw him there earlier. Now there he is in that Sour Patch Kids Toyota. Real tight with Lattimore. They're five wide again. Cuts to the bottom, does the 86, gets to the bottom. As Nate's looking for the lead. Nate's been a, somewhat of a super speedway sleeper. He finished second to his teammate in Talladega. As Council is going to storm through and lead this lap. But Nate's been fast. He won Armory, Armory or not Armory, Nashville. And he's just sneaky fast on these racetracks, debuting a new uh, scotch schemes tonight in Armory. You can go all the way back to season one. Nate should have won that Talladega race, but ended up blowing a motor. What was it, last lap, two laps to go, something like that? Two laps, coming around to see the white flag, and turn number one, he threw his transmission out. So he's always been good on these types of tracks. Out in the wind right now, but Sean looks down to the inside. Yet another one of those fast 100 Thieves cars. Look who's coming. Sean looks like he's going to clear him. And Soggy is there, up and into fifth place in that 29. Mellow down there, bottom feeding in that Red Bull, or sorry, a, that's the Estemo car. Yep. Well, slash Red Bull. Red Bull's still on it. Sean leads at the line that time by, but Irish is immediately down to his inside with help from Soggy and Jerry Chen's return to the front of the field. All-star winner, Mr. Adam Irish. Still looking for his first ever points paying victory, but... I wouldn't say no to an all-star win. I'll, I'll, I'll take one of them. Yeah, right. A win's a win. The 72 of Ant looking for anybody to work with to try to go catch that 29. He's got the 24. All oh, not anymore. Not anymore. Walter ditches him and down to the bottom. And Soggy is looking for the lead. This he... could be uh, the, the thing that uh, Ant needs the least is for this 29 to get back around the lead a lap. But he's clear of Irish. There, I don't think anybody's going to catch him by the time they get start finish. Oh, Chin might have something to say about it. Chin's going to try. Oh, what? Soggy's he's blocking. Able to come the bottom. This lap is his. And so there's so that five points that five points. Yep. Ant had got, but now it's gone. Now, if you're Ant, if you're trying to figure out ways you can get points, you got to try to lead the most laps. But you know that's going to be difficult with this blender of cars that we have running around here at Armory Digital. Absolutely. It's going to be tough to go and lead the most laps. So far, I don't think anybody's led more than one. Council down to the inside, throws it three wide. B&M teammate in there behind him. Doesn't go with him, though. Now he does. Locked 17 and 24 are working Chevrolet. good together. Kreezum and Julia just forged their own lane way down low, trying to push their way to the front. NCD down to the inside of the race leader. Jerry Chen looking forward to push from those B&M cars. NCD and his team have a very good record at this racetrack. NCD leads at the line that time by lap 12, or lap 11, now lap 12 of 48. They get in that 71, the winner from Michigan, another drafting style race. Moving up towards the front here, was also in the battle late in Talladega. And then Balto, obviously the clash winner from last year. 
always fast on the drafting tracks. Mm -hmm. This number 24. And don't look now, but the the original Super Speedway weapon, Mello, is moving into the picture. He was, he and then Taco went underneath him. Taco said, adios, mi amigo. <laughs> He's moving to the front. Taco looking for a sponsor dub today with Netflix being the sponsor. And Mello's going to cut him back. Wow, how about that? Mello cuts in the second he's clear, and he's going to put Taco to the middle. Dega looking for the lead side-by-side -side up front. It's going to be the 24 of Alto leading this time by. But Mello on the attack. He's got Adam Garcia all over his back bumper. Adam, he the one one, the one of the 100 Thieves cars that hasn't been out front tonight. Mello heard you say, used to be a weapon? Excuse me. He said, pardon. <laughs> up into second spot now side-by-side -side with the 24 as Dega pushes through to the race lead. Fish is just a little worm. You can't get rid of him. He's always right there in the in the shot, in the top ten, every lap it seems. Hanging around, hanging tough. That's what we saw the ninety do yesterday in yesterday's race, and he wound out wound up out front. If I could speak, <laughs> out front and went in the race. Yep. And he wound up out front on the green white checker, <laughs> and well, not out front on the green white checker. He had to work his way there, but front when it counted and won the race. Mm hmm. Dega still out in front. Uh, Mello somehow has worked his way to the top now. He's trying to find any he lane he can. Outside of Balto. Anybody that'll push him. He and NCD, those two, well, those two JDM cars trying to hook up on the outside. However, I'm not so sure that's going to work out too well as Adam Garcia goes to the lead with a push from Raz. Outside pole sitter, 47 Masters, worked his way back up into third on the inside line with Kreese and his pseudo Mercedes teammate in there with him. Oh, God, what lane do you block if you're Adam? They're about to be any four wide for second behind you. Kreezum digging down to the bottom, ditches the 47. Kreezum, another one of those drivers that'll be retiring at season's end. He won at Iowa earlier this year, but he wants to go out on a two-win career, if not three, if he can get them both at the end of the season. Mercedes. Side by side. Mercedes seems like they brought some good pieces today. The 27, 47, and 7 are all fast. Tight race back to the line. I think Adam Garcia got that one. Yes, he did. By sure a did. Just a little bit. Don't look now. The dual force cars have linked up on the bottom like they did in Talladega when they finished 1 2. Yep. Scoring his first career victory that afternoon. These guys know how to These work two together. Working really well. Treason makes a bid on Raz looking for the race lead. Nate back in there as well. Dale to the bottom with Jordan trying to find a way through. And Nate and Trumpet having none of it. But Trumpet's going to take the middle unless he cuts to the bottom now. Doesn't take the bait. Come on, your teammates down there. Get with him. There, there he goes. goes. Now he thinks better of it. Is there four and five wide for about 15th spot behind him? Nothing new. Field a little bit broken up towards the back where Adam Irish is. You know, I don't know if there was somebody got loose back in there. There's three wide at the line. Give that one to Raz. Oh, oh, oh soggy. soggy. Soggy hard in the wall with Balto, Mello, NCD. Sean is involved. And Council comes to a stop without hitting anyone, I think. Stuck on the banking, though, but super soggy. Turned up the racetrack here. Lap 16 of 48. Caution flag is out. They're racing back. What a big incident this could be. This could be huge for the points. We'll see if they are able to repair that. As the dual force cars have said, we don't like working with each other, actually. Trumpet's looking for that lead. He's going to come through three and four here. I think he'll have it. Yeah, I think he's going to lead it back to the line one, here. Two. Dale, Kreezum, and Nate three wide for second, but Trumpet will be the race leader as they take the yellow flag here on lap 16 of 48. And he is. Yep. We will have to take a look back and find out what just happened to the points leader in turns one and two. We're following this all the way down off turn number four. The number one of Mello and the 24 of Balto start banging doors coming to the line this time. Soggy down there on the bottom, but then they start tracking towards the inside of the racetrack, and then it oh. is on. Dega barely misses it, and then everyone who was unfortunate enough to be trapped up there on their outside just got swept, including Soggy, who was down on the inside, got turned hard to the outside wall. Some big hits there. Riding on board at the number 29 of Soggy as the two cars to his outside. You see him even diving down below that line, maybe didn't like how they were racing as they crossed the line this time. No oh. warning. Just turned into the outside wall. Very, very large championship implications as the points leader has crashed here at Armory Digital. Leaders head for pit road. Trumpet leads. It looks like everyone on down. Yep. Not everybody's quite sure, coming. But in. this race, uh, this caution coming just shy of halfway in this race, you know, getting tires and fuel as well as a chance for these damaged cars to repair themselves. 
We'll see what they do as Trumpet and that 12 with his teammate roll them on in. Who's the first one to box? There's Trumpet on into his stall. Mellow repairing damage is sustained in that accident. Yep, there's Nate. There's Councils on pit road. Mellow's trying to get it fixed. Ricochet gets a little push into it. his stall. I don't see the jacks going up on these cars. It looks like that's a fuel only stop for the 71. Yep, certainly might be a fuel only. Oh, contact Garcia between brothers the brothers. Touch each other. That sounded crazy. As Trumpet will lead the race off pit road, uh, Kreezum in second, Nate in third, Dale in fourth, the Garcias, Raz, 47 Master, and Julia, and Jordan. There is Soggy mean? returning. Is he returning, or is he just now making it to his box? Nope. That's oh, yes, out. he's returning to the racetrack. Same for Sean. Sean with a lot of damage. Ripped Soggy also with it. a lot of damage. There's Balto. We'll he was in it. These cars are able to keep pace. Field rolling through turns three and four, headed for the restart here on lap 20 of 48. We'll take the restart with 28 laps to go here in Armory. The uh, only car off the lead lap, the number 17 of Mike Council, two laps down there on the inside. Two cars taken out of the race in that accident were the number one of Mello and the number 86 of NCD. The uh, Truck Series winner from earlier or from last season, unfortunately, NCD out of this one, and Mello as well. Trumpet out in front, Creasum second, Nate third, Dale fourth, and uh, David Garcia rounds out the top five as this long, long front straightaway. Yep. Long straightaway, all the way to that green mark on the wall for the restart zone. Trumpet leads him on in, bringing him down nice and slow. Nobody goes till he does. 47 master said i don't think so <laughs> back on the gas green flag is back out here in armory we'll see if the uh the cars involved in the accidents are up to speed but we are back racing nate jumped to the outside as well not too much to do up there on that outside council, council seems like he has some speed trying to get back by the 12. Way. he's got dale up there in there behind him who better to, behind, to have behind you on a super speedway than dale oh yeah oh, these yeah. cars, these are, cars slow. are slow so they and look at Soggy, how poetic that is. The one, the car right in front of Soggy is the one, the man trying to hunt him down. Yep, he's watching him run away. So those cars could become a factor later on. Ant, it's all in your hands now. As up front, Trumpet still leads this race. Dale is the uh, the car attempting to take that away. The 17 off the lead lap. Conrail dives out of line way back in the field. I'd expect nothing different. <laughs> as the RJR cars look down to the inside of David Garcia. Back to the line, Trumpet will lead this lap. Dale in second. Julia, I don't know what it is about this about this 75 on these super speedways, but she is if, if she doesn't take get to, she either gets taken out early or she is in the fight for the win. Yeah, the 75 is always up front. She knows Talladega what she's doing. Last year is a, reminds me because our, you remember when Ricochet was off the lead lap, a lap car falling back blocked Julia, and then she moved to his outside and passed him on the top. Yep. And slammed yep. the door yep. on the guys trying to battle for the lead. I oh, I loved that moment so much. Now she's moved up into the in oh. the second spot side oh, by side. They were looking Trumpet five wide. Four and five wide back there behind them. Conrail down on the inside. They shoved Creasum way up to the outside along with David Garcia. Ricochet and Conrail trying to push through with Bucktooth himself, Alondo in that 11. Trying to find his way to the front. He's all locked onto that rear bumper of the 68. As Dale leads that lap, Julia second. And Taco trying to win his sponsor race. Mm -hmm. In that Netflix Chevrolet, last Netflix. year's champion, has not had anything to show this year since so 31st in points. Comes into this race with a fast Chevrolet and a chance to get a victory. Carrying that 98 for having such a poor qualifying run has been relatively consistent. He's been able to run his way from the back to the front a couple of times. Yeah, he has early. So, and like we said, we talked Ooh. about Mer talked about Mercedes bringing some speed today and. You know, coming from the back, certainly got to have some speed to do that. Irish got loose in the middle of the pack, gave me a little fright as up front Julia and Taco battle side by side as they head back to the start finish line. Not quite sure it's going to be. We've seen the top prevail. We've seen the bottom prevail. I think it's the 75. Oh, it was by a little bit. Julia gets it by less than a hundredth of a second as Ricochet is now sitting in third place in that 68. Council's got shuffin gotten shuffled out the lap car in that U-Haul 17. This is the final race Mike Council will ever have in that number 17. He'll be moving to the number 35 next season. 
Yeah, we'll uh, run a special scheme next weekend in Charlotte. All lead lap cars battling tucked up tight with one another along with that 17 of Council. Ooh. I didn't mention it earlier as Alondo dives to the inside of Ricochet looking for a second spot. But the number 19 of Adam Irish currently sits third in points, only 104 back of Soggy, who is struggling today. So Irish with a good run, which he's had on super speedways in the past, could be one to watch here late. Absolutely. Oh, four wide? Looking four, five, maybe? Woo. Oh, Ricochet and Julie are banging doors off into turn number one. They get it sorted out. Oh, they're just Those rehashing from Talladega. Second. Oh, yeah, they're having memories. <laughs> Jerry Chen dives it to the inside. Julia falling back hard on that outside. Because there's a little bunch up there behind him. Green flag still out. One car looks like Fish was a little off the pace. Dropping back. They get it sorted out. It looks like he's at speed. He's well, you know, this seven car is definitely off oh, yeah, pace. Something's wrong with the seven. There he goes, Pit Road. For Pit Road. Trouble for the pole sitter. He heads to Pit Road, and he's really hindered his teammate, Kreezum, in that 27 as well. Yeah, that did not help Kreezum. So something wrong with the 7. Back up front. Alondo out in front of this race. So the field somewhat whittling itself down here. But the two guys that are trying to chase down Soggy in that 29 find themselves in the lead draft. They battle at the front again. Jerry Chen down to the inside with nobody on his, his back bumper. Alondo well clear out in front of the field with Irish in tow. Irish tucked up on that back bumper. Oh, maybe not. Hicks makes a bid to the inside. He's got Council the lap car down there on a little ways back, but they battle side by side back to the line. 19 on the inside, 11 on the outside. Yeah, Council is two laps down, but that car seems to still have speed, so... It's not necessarily a hindrance for him to be up here in this pack. For the first time, I think that I've seen in the whole weekend that we've been here, the inside line prevailed that time. <laughs> Irish led that lap. Had a good run off turn four with the 17. Was able to carry it all the way back to the line. We'll see if those cars at the back led by Conrail and that 44 are able to run this lead draft down. They've still got about half the race to come and catch them. But if they keep doing what Raz is doing now, getting out and battling with one another, their chances are certainly lessened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not going to if they keep doing that. Um, but we'll just have to see if they can catch up. But with more cars comes more speed, and them battling side by side might allow uh, Adam Garcia, Vuko, some of those other guys that were running the single car back there to catch up. As now Mike Council finds himself one lap down. And Chin led and that lap. And that's all about to change. Jerry Chen out in front leads it by a nose over Adam Irish. Actually, Irish. Oh, yeah, Chen. I forget the 17 is off the lead left. Whoa, the 26 of <laughs> Captain on that inside got loose. Nothing All the way to the bottom. Nothing a Hoonigan car knows, doesn't know about being sideways. <laughs> he makes a move down to the inside. Here comes Lab Trumpet. Warren. 72 trying to come with Trumpet on the inside with a big push from his best friend in the world, Julia. All over the back bumper of that Dodge trying to move their way to the front of the field put the 12 back on top of the board man after he won that race in Talladega he's been rolling that riding that wave as far as super speedways go he's had some terrible luck absolutely so he currently sits actually no he's not last in points that is the 11 of Alondo but second to last in points as he leads another lap here tonight and Julia's here thinking, comes right, Julia and here comes Ant Ant as well he's pushed his way he was in the back of this field just barely missed getting caught up in whatever happened to the seven car now he sits fourth in line on the inside. The conveyor belt of super speedways continues to shuffle the field here at Armory. We're coming back to see 18 laps to go. Dale to the inside. Dale down to the inside with a push from Captain in that 26. All of the Dodgers up in this lead draft, three of them right there in your shot, 26, 75, and 12, the 18 and the 57 further back, but still part of the lead draft. As Dale blocks the bottom, defends both lanes from the RJR cars, and Dale's going to bring it back to the line. He'll lead this lap. Dale with somewhat of an un uncertain future at the moment with some uh, rumblings within the garage area about what that team will do for Season 4. As he gets passed down on the inside by the 26 of Captain Hoonigan Dodge is back out in the lead with a push from Ant in that 72. 
Dale with a couple wins and the sponsors that he has, I'm sure we'll have no problem finding a seat oh, not at for all. season four. Oh. But yeah, certainly right now it's a little concerning with, you know, don't really know what's going to happen next season. Keep an eye out in front. I just saw the number 40 of Sean tail into the lead lap with all that damage on the car from the earlier accident. Oh yeah, he is not he far away. They're going to catch him view. quick. That's something Captain's all too familiar with. His, his brother, Logan, last season was all over the field. It happened a lot last damage. year. Lattimore to the inside looking three wide. Ant's going to come to the line, and Ant will lead another lap. This is what he needs to do. But now he needs to stay out front. It out. Lattimore pushes through to third. And that J-Labs Chevrolet. How slow is the 40? Where will they catch him as they head down the front straight away? He's pretty slow. Now, something interesting, if the 40 can hold up this pack quite a bit, that could allow that pack at the back to catch up as they're catching them quick. Oh, it's Lane. Oh, it's going to trap Ant. Look out up top. Lattimore on the ripping the boards, trying to find a way around. Jordan 47 Master Taco are all going to get around clean. Bunched up big time behind that 40. Everybody looking for a room to race. Captain trapped again like he was all year last or Once all day again. last year. So if history has anything to say, that 26 will win this race. <laughs> if history repeats itself. Still looking for a way around him. He's up there on the top. Now, I don't think that's going to be the way to do it. This is allowing Raz, Vuko, and all these guys to catch up as they're strung out more or less single file now at the front. And Carey with an enormous lead as they catch Soggy, another one. Carey has a huge lead. I don't know if I like that all that much. They're gonna. They're probably gonna catch the twenty nine before they. They're even gonna catch them quick. Finish. They are. Oh my lord! Look at the run the forty seven has. Disposes of the fifty seven of Jordan. Now Trumpet throws it to the bottom after getting a big nose from the nose full of scotch from that eighteen. <laughs> forty seven master gonna come around and lead this lap. Where are they gonna get and to they the twenty nine? Soggy this time, and there's another car in front of Soggy. They're catching two of them. Here they come. Where do you go? 47, 12, and 19 make it through clean on the inside. Taco's going to get held up. Middle lane. Or Jordan's stuck in the middle. Everybody trying to serpentine their way around these moving chicanes of lap cars. Back up at the front, Trumpet trying to lead again. Soggy bunching the field. Although now a lot of those cars that got caught up when Fish had his issues have now been able to rejoin this lead draft. Yep, they're starting to catch back up because of these lap cars. Thankfully, with the amount of time left in this race, we'll have to we'll have to see. It'll be close whether they catch these guys again. They still got one more to fight their way through Balto. Fish back out on yep, track. Fish have been able to get back out. The 18 so with a big run down the leaders. back. Nate with a huge push from Ant. Carey looking down to the inside. Oh, Irish going to block it. the block. He took the bait. Adam Irish needs some luck to be on his side tonight if he wishes to catch that 29 of Soggy. He's got that clover of Aer Lingus on the hood, and he's taking it to the front. The four-leaf clover from Ireland out in front of the field now as they come back around to start finish. Lap 34 of 48. As they're three wide in his mirror, Irish will lead another one. Man, just after being held up like he was, look at that 26 coming right back to the front. Something about Armory in that 26. They get along well. As the great Daryl Walter once said, maybe it's those colored walls <laughs> that allows these drivers to be extremely aggressive, and we've seen it tonight. There you see the Balto yep, in that 24. There's Balto the top not the too shot. far out front. Creeping his way. Obviously, is much faster than the other damaged cars. However... He's, he's out there running solo, and these guys are all tucked up in the draft as Nate dives to the inside with Ski looking for the race lead. Ant on the bottom, well into the back bumper of the 57 of Jordan. Ant's trying to find Ricochet any way he to can the top to get to of the five. Front. A couple of cars bounce around back in the field. The 67 of Lattimore and the, and the 11 of Alondo got together very slightly. They keep it straight. 
So it looks like it's going to be n potentially Nate that leads the charge up to the back bumper of the 24 when they get there. They might this catch him so this quick. lap. That long for oh yeah, they're going to catch him this lap. Yep. Oh yeah, absolutely. Ski down on the inside of Nate, side by side for the lead. They might catch him on the front, which has been a treacherous part of this track when you get close. Where does the 24 run? Here comes Ski, Jordan, Ant, Raz. Whoa, he thought he was going to take the block there. He's going to trap Nate. And once again, the 26. So Ant gets through clean. That's big for him. The 20, This 24 very clearly is faster than the 29 and the, and the 40 were, but still inhibited speed not what they need in front of the leaders here yeah even with a non-damaged car even with a non-damaged car you're not as fast as the front pack nate still looking for a way around him as they're side by side out front jordan trying to take the lead away raz trying to get rid of the 72 of ant raz was back there in that group that fell off the lead pack and here he is running third now after everything that's happened off turn number four the 57 out in the wind now this time atlanta winner and the season one champion has put his car out in front. As Raz now dives to his inside, he might not even lead this lap back. I think he's going to get it, but Raz line. is... Oh, close. Oh, well, Raz charges immediately to the inside as Jordan snags a lap lead. The field now starts to bunch back up. Those guys that were trapped behind them starting to work their way through. Look at Conrail. Conrail was one of those four cars trapped at the back yep. outside that lead draft. And now he's worked his way up into the top ten. Council, the only lap car not causing trouble right now is he's just saying, hey, guys, I'm just I'm undamaged. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me out of this. Like, hey, just let me get out front and have a caution real quick. I'll get a lap back. So Raz leads this race now with 10 laps to go. Where we're getting down there. Getting real Raz, close. The, the winningest driver in series history with three career wins under the under the hood of that that four, uh, 54 Toyota. Chen and 47 Master along with Ant now three wide for second. Ant dropping back on the top. Here comes 47 Master back to the inside outside pole sitter. Jordan and Conrail give each other a love tap in the middle of four back there. They do it again. Might be a little more than that. One more for good measure down the back stretch. That's really tight. Woo! Especially with the 72 up there on the outside. The points, or not the points leader, but the guy trying to catch him. Yeah, that's treacherous for that 72. Needs to watch his P's and Q's. Through three and four again. Alondo looking for the lead down on the inside of the racetrack. Uh-oh, they might Oh, catch we fish. might catch another insect. Oh, I think they're going to catch fish. There's no way they don't. Ten laps and, and half a straightaway? No chance. Yep, eight to go this time at the line. I think they're going to get to him. This could be the final blend that decides who will be in contention for this win. Mm-hmm. But they, whenever they do get caught up in a in a in a snag with these lap cars, you know, it, it it seems like they're able to bunch back up pretty quickly. As Captain and Nate, the two Dodgers, now work their way to the front of the field. It certainly takes a lap or two, though. So depending on when they catch that seven, that could definitely write off a couple guys if they can't get past the seven quickly. Taco down to the inside, looking on looking to gain a spot on Vuko, who is well outside the lead pack. Twenty six now moving through to the race lead once more on that inside. And I think we've got every single one of our lead lap cars and, of course, the 17 Mike Johnson all tacked up in one big pack again. I think so. Conrail dives it down to the inside with a push from the 17. Won't lead this lap, but try to lead the next one. Conrail, known for being obscenely aggressive in not just super <laughs> speedway racing, but every single kind of race that he's in. Where's that? Oh, 40? there's a slower oh, car. They're going to catch the 40 again. The 7 was able to get by the 40. Two more. Oh, it's never easy at Armory. No. All of the beneficiaries that were uh, working the lap cars perfectly last year, Captain in the 26, Taco in the 50, Nate in the 18, all of them find themselves up here at the front of the field. They're trying mm. to do it again. There's Council trying to get a lap back again. <laughs> so now Council finds himself tail end of the one lap down lap. Trying to hold off. At this point, some of these lead lap cars might be thinking, hey, buddy, you know, we got six laps to go. Yeah, might want to, you know, get out of the way. But hey, you so know, everybody's got a to chance inside. to fight for their spot on track. 
I think Trumpet might be the fastest car here. We've seen him up at the front a lot tonight after starting well deep in the field as Sean looms off of turn. Here we go. This might decide who's in it to win it and who's left out to dry. Council was looking for a way around. A lot of cars diving down to the inside, trying to find any sort of way around that. Oh, they're that blocking the two middle. lanes. Ricochet, I thought, was going to make it by, but now he's trapped in the middle. That 40 block in the middle is going to slow down every... But now he's going to dump to the outside. Captain's there, gets to the outside of the 40. Clears him on the top. Everybody else looking for some sort of way around him. With this little time left, you think these guys that are still trapped are out of the race? Oh, man, I, I don't know. They got a lot of ground to make up, but with it only being four cars here at the front, I certainly think there's a chance they can catch up. And it looks like the big loser is going to be Jordan, was just leading this race moments ago. Now he's trapped in there behind that 40. And Julio, who's been fast tonight. Four-car breakaway at the front, then it's a mess behind him. Jerry Chen now finds himself out in front of the field in that Hilton Ford. Now Raz looking back to the inside again. We'll see how if they have time to bunch back up and if they're able to catch Fish in that seven, who's done a good job at keeping well ahead of these guys. Yeah, Fish is the fastest of the cars, not in the main pack right now. So I don't, Absolutely. I don't know when they're going to catch him. Hopefully it's not on the last lap, but oh, what I don't even know. What a shame that would be. And of course, nothing Fish can really do. He's out of control with out of this, uh, out of the, out. It's out of his control at the moment. He had some sort of mechanical failure, or electrical problem under the hood of that seven earlier after starting from the pole. See the 11, the three, the yeah, 17, they're starting to get back the to 67. him. 67, they're gonna, they're gonna catch these guys, no doubt about that. Not so sure that those guys that are trailing off at the end. Oh no, Soggy's up there again. Soggy is up here too. Even when he's out of the contention for the win, he might still affect the outcome of this race. Man, you got to think if you're the points leader coming down to the last lap and you can affect the line. Mm. There's two cars that he really would like to block right now out there in this race. As Taco is looking down to the inside for the race lead, I don't think he's going to get it. This lap's all belonging to Trumpet. Now the 11 has joined the fray. The three of Dale. The 67 of Lattimore. Lattimore been on a hot streak since he got that fifth place run in Atlanta. Started second at Bristol, led a couple of laps before having having some trouble. Here they come, up to the back bumper of this, the 29 and the 7. What will this do? What lane do they block? Look out. Oh, Taco looking to the outside. So it's going to be Chen that gets trapped. He's able to dive down to the inside if he takes it. Not quite. Now Soggy looking to cover the bottom. Lattimore and Alondo got by. Now Soggy blocking the middle. Council blocked again. Now Raz. Raz looks to the top. Looking for any way around this 29. Filter his way by along with Vuko in the 45. Nate in the 18. You got to find a way around. It's three laps to go. Lattimore out in the lead with three to go. Here they come up on the back bumper of Fish in the seven. Might be able to give these guys a nice little draft, seeing as the seven isn't terribly slow. Yeah, they might be spread enough apart that the seven doesn't really affect them. What do you do? Oh, come on, Lattimore. You got to move out from behind him. Oh, Alondo going to pin him to the top. I think the seven is going to be able to blend in, though. I think he'll blend like the 11 or like the 17 as Alondo moves through to the race lead. Alondo, been in the series since season one, has not yet scored a victory. He finds himself out in front as they come to two to go. Taco in second. Trumpet third. Dale. Jerry Chen. Lattimore falling back. What a shame. Vuko. Adam Garcia. Nate. Raz. And Kerry. As Taco makes a move for the lead. This is coming around to face the white flag. There has not yet been a repeat winner in Season 2. Or sorry, Season 3. Could that change tonight? Taco has not yet won a race. Dale has. Jerry Chen has. Trumpet has. Nate has. They're all moving to the front. Side by side out of turn number 4. This time by, they'll come to the line and they'll face the white flag. No lap cars in front. It's a dead sprint to the finish. Nate throws it to the bottom. Four wide. White flag in the air. One more time around at Armory. 
Taco trying to win his sponsored race, but they're four wide for second in his mirror. What lane do you block? Oh, I like Nate on that bottom. I like Nate down on that inside as well. Trumpet forced up the racetrack, dropping back. His, his hopes are dashed. The whole field is caught back up, but you got to be in these front one or two rows if you want to have a shot at it. Taco mm -hmm. commanding lead down the back straightaway. Nate getting a good push. Council off the lead lap. Through turn number three, Taco still in command of this race. Here comes Chen to the inside. Oh, it's going to be a close one. Jerry, Chen, and Taco are going to be side by side to the line. Here they come. For the final time, down to the start finish line. Chen on the inside, Taco on the outside. Side by side to the checkered flag and armory. I don't know. I think it was Taco. It Taco. Was. Taco. Taco. Taco wins the Netflix and Chill 50. Wow. The two champion in his own race takes the checkered flag. And now we're 14 for 14 on different winners this season. Jeez, Jerry how about Chen, that? Jerry second by less than a hundredth of a second. Dale finishes third. Nate fourth. Alondo fifth. Vuko sixth. Kerry Rogers, after starting shotgun on the field, gets a seventh place result. Trumpet eighth. Lattimore ninth. And Ant, the guy trying to chase down Soggy, winds up tenth. We'll have to see what this did to the points. But what a great job by Taco in that 50 to command that whole last lap. Yeah, absolutely. Got himself a sponsor dub. Got a really close finish. We'll have to see if that was the closest finish we've ever had. It, it was close. We'll go ahead and take a look at what this all did to the point standings after a wild race in Armory. Thank you for tuning in to the Netflix and Chill 48 here from Armory Digital Super Speedway. Congrats to Taco and that number 50 team on scoring his second career victory and the closest finish in Pog Series history. Point zero zero one here tonight at Armory Digital. You won't want to miss it next time when we go out for the final time in Season 3 to the Pog Crown of Champion 120 from the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Until that time comes, I'm Jordan here along with Captain. We'll catch you next time.